Egyptian women are speaking out and they have rape and sexual assault in their crosshairs. <laughs> Shocking allegations against a young American University in Cairo graduate snowballed and now hundreds of female victims are coming forward. Me too. Oh, and I don't. On the 1st of July 2020, a social media post appeared accusing 22-year-old Ahmed Zaki of sexual assault. By nightfall on the same day, more than 50 women came forward with claims against him. Within a few days, this number increased to 100. Sexual assaults are not new in Egypt. A 2013 United Nations study found that 99% of women have experienced some form of harassment. However, Zaki's young age and privileged background ignited a debate over how and why he was able to get away with it for so long. What is important about this particular case is that it doesn't fit the stereotype of how harassers are portrayed in Egypt as young working class men or unemployed young employed men who can't control their sexuality in some way and that um, and they're the dangerous ones, and they're the ones who are, who are harassing women on the street. We saw on the net that we saw on the phone, and he was not able to get out, and he was also not able to work, and he was not able to do anything. So all this is going to be kept in mind, and it's going to be kept in mind. Those from the elite get protected for a really long time, as we can see from this case. Maybe it's even so disturbing because the guy is so young, but he has also gotten away with this for years. And, when, and used his wealth and power of his family to protect him, to protect himself. The Ahmed Zaki case prompted more women to pour onto social media to encourage other victims of similar crimes to come forward. Women's activists launched online initiatives such as the Assault Police Instagram page to help them find justice. <laughs> اللي انا عايزه اقوله ثلاث ارباع بنات مصر او اغلبيتها احنا عندنا مزروع جوانا آه الخوف احنا خايفين يعني في خوف كده في او غضب هسميه غضب اكتر آه من آه الرجاله. The response was overwhelming as more and more victims spoke up with cases varying from abuse at the hands of colleagues to an alleged gang rape in a hotel in 2014. في هذا الفندق فندق فيرمونت The Egyptian government responded quickly. Cases were brought against Ahmed Zaki and the Fermont Hotel suspects. Women's rights bodies affiliated with the state asked victims to report the crimes. New legislation was passed to protect the identity of those coming forward. Despite assurances from the state, many are wary as Egyptian authorities do not have the best track record in dealing with sexual assaults. As part of the Fermont Hotel case, in late August and early September 2020, police arrested a number of female witnesses to the rape. It is currently unclear what they are suspected of or accused of doing. Some activists have pointed to the imprisonment of female TikTok users for immoral behavior. There is also a suspicion that the Egyptian government has used sexual violence to silence political dissent. Mass sex attacks where a street of men harass a woman are a phenomenon in Egypt and while many are crimes of opportunity that occur during street festivals and after big holiday occasions by random groups of men like New Year's Day 2020 attack against two women leaving a department store many other kinds occur during anti-state protests. These seems to be politically motivated attacks 
The first documented mass sex attack occurred in 2005, where a large group of men turned up to a demonstration being held by female activists. There were protesters um, against the multi-candidate um, presidential election amendment to the Constitution. Civilians were bussed in and maybe paid or whatever um, to, to attack women protesters and, and harm their reputations um, as a way to punish women for um, you know, being involved in the public space. In 2011, after the Egyptian president Hosni Mubarak stepped down due to pressure from street protests, another mass attack against female protesters occurred. After the, um, the 18 days of protests from January 25th to February 11th, um, it seems like there was no r reports of sexual harassment in Tahrir Square. Um, and then as soon as Mubarak stepped down, it seems like then harassment reappeared in the square and there was this intense two-year period of protests um, uh, from 2011 to 2013, where they saw again and again large groups of men um, attacking female protesters. It seemed to follow a specific pattern so some of the activists did suspect that maybe these were orchestrated and not just um, uh, what you say, a spontaneous eruption of violence by men. Some of these were um, attacks were uh, orchestrated and politically motivated um, to stop women from protesting again. Increasing numbers of women coming forward and publicly taking on their attackers is clearly challenging Egypt's social structures. It remains to be seen if the Egyptian government is capable of rising to the challenge, given its mixed history in dealing with sexual assaults.